Hello and welcome to another Gelenite Academy mapping tutorial. This is the second tutorial. If you haven't seen the first one, please watch it. Today we'll be looking at basic geometry and textures, creating your first room. If you haven't already launched GJK Radiant, click OK. And here we have four windows. Perspective view, which is this gray window and the top, front and side view. In the top, front or side view, hold the left mouse button and drag to create a box. This is your first geometry, which we refer to as a brush. You can see it in all the side views, but you can't see it in the perspective view just yet. To do this, right click in the perspective view and scroll back. To move around, use the arrow keys. To look around, use the mouse. Take a few seconds to get used to this. Alright, now it's time to edit the brush. You can use the side views for this. Make sure you have the brush selected by shift clicking on the brush. Now to edit the shape of the brush, left click and hold outside of the brush in any of the side views. And drag down or up, depending on what you want. Make sure that you're in the right editing mode by hitting Q. There are a bunch of different tools on the Q, W, E and R buttons, but we'll stick with Q for now. This is the basic resize tool. Feel free to play around with it for a little bit and see the effect in the perspective view. You can hit spacebar to copy, click inside the brush and drag to move it, and now we have two brushes. You can make a quick selection by shift clicking and dragging, hit escape to deselect, and shift click to select individual brushes. This works for all the viewports. Select both brushes and hit backspace to delete. Now let's create a floor. Go to the top right window, click and drag to create a nice floor. Then go to the bottom view, right click to adjust the camera if you need to. Then click outside the brush and drag to resize it. Now we're going to copy this floor by hitting spacebar and dragging it up to make a ceiling. Now to finish the room, we also need to create walls. To do this, we're going to apply the same method as we have before. Copy, hitting spacebar, dragging to side and resizing, and dragging it down, and moving it over by hitting spacebar again. Now it's important that you leave these gaps between the brushes. If we put it like this, it gets rendered, but you won't be able to see it. So it's just a waste. So make sure that the corners of each brush line up like this. Now I'm going to copy it again to make the final two walls. Drag it down again. And there we go. Now we can move inside, and as you can see, we have our very first room. But you see this weird texture that says shader not found. But before we change the texture, I want to add a reference to size. Because right now it's very hard to tell which size something is. To do this, right click on the side view and list of things will appear. These are items that you can place in the game. Go to info and add a info player start. This item referred to as an entity acts as a spawn point for a player and is also the exact same size as an actual player. Place this entity close to the floor, not in the floor, because then you won't be able to spawn properly. Now as you can see the room is quite small, so I'm going to resize it a little bit. I'm going to raise the roof. I'm going to drag out this wall a bit. There we go. And I'm going to select these four brushes, like this, and I'm going to drag them out towards the wall. Now, as you might notice, this will become very difficult. As you can see, the shape starts changing. So we're going to cancel this, and we're going to hit Ctrl Z. So now we need to change the grid size, so that these four pieces will fit more easily onto this piece. To do this, Go to the top, go to grid, and here is a list of options that you can use. 
So let's set it to say option eight, 128. And let's see how well it works now. As you can see, it's a lot easier, but we have a little bit of a gap still. So we need to set it to option seven. And there we go. Now I'm gonna raise the walls to meet the roof. So I'm gonna select them all, drag it up. And there we go. Resized the room nicely. And these numbers actually represent the numbers on the keyboard. So if you press the number on the keyboard, it will actually resize to that. So now I'm quite happy with the size of the room. So let's actually go and change this weird texture. Hit T to open the textures window. And here you have a list of all the maps that have textures in them. So for all intents and purposes, let's open up Yavin. And as you can see right here, here are all the textures. You can make all the example images the same size by going to view and checking fixed size. All right, let's select all the walls by shift clicking them. And let's apply a texture. Let's have a look for a nice one. I think I'll use this one. Yes, I like this. Make sure you remove the selection by hitting escape. Select the floor and assign a new texture. So let's do this one. Looks pretty good. And then also for the roof. Uh, let's see. Let's try. Hmm, which one is nice? Uh, this one. So there we go. Now we have everything nicely textured. Alright, so we're done with the texture, so we can close that window. And we're done. We've created our first room. Now we need to save. So go to File, Save As, type in a name. I'm going to call this Tutorial First Room. Once you've done that, hit save. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, rate, subscribe, or join me on Facebook.